Oysters, that's it, yes. I'll start off with oysters. That will get her going. <laughs> Pass the mayonnaise, please. Huh? Right. Uh, Joe, you're not going to eat that, are you? I mean, you only had breakfast an hour ago. One boiled egg. Yes, but you're on a diet. And I'm sticking to it for breakfast, lunch and dinner. This isn't a meal time. It doesn't count. Oh. <laughs> well, just don't point it in my direction when you take a bite of it, that's all. Have you been stubbing your cigarettes out on my rubber plant? No, not me. It must be Greenfly. Greenfly do not smoke. And they certainly don't write telephone numbers on leaves. <laughs> I couldn't find the pad. I'm sorry you ever found this one. Whose telephone number is it, anyway? Well, it's the garden centre. I want to check whether the stubbing out a fag on a rubber plant did it any harm. <laughs> oh, it live. Just needs feeding, that's all. Oh, that's your answer to everything. Um, what happened to your diet sheet? She ate it. Now, listen. <laughs> Would you eat oysters? Only if there's a rich boyfriend in the month. <laughs> the sex maniac's cookbook? Yeah, it's for tonight. Which bit, the sex maniac or the cooking? Or both. <laughs> He's got this girl coming round from his technical college. Oh, she's just one of my legion of adoring fans. You know, she's studying biology, so I thought tonight I might be able to give a bit of help on the uh, practical side. Hmm. She may adore you, but she's certainly not your biggest fan. No? No, you are. Yes, that is true, yes. <laughs> now, come on, seriously, Chrissy, Joe, you must have eaten oysters at some time. Yeah. Well, I mean, did it make you feel any, you know, different afterwards? <laughs> I was in bed for three days. Terrific. <laughs> All right, we'll definitely start with oysters. I had food poisoning. Oh, listen, don't bother me with reasons. Now, <clears throat> to follow them, we shall have steak tatar. Yes. Raw steak with eggs and onions. Ugh. Listen, don't knock it. Rumour has it that steak tatar was the downfall of Doris Day, right? <laughs> right, you coming down to the supermarket? Oh, might as well. We're getting a bit low on cornflakes. <sighs> How terribly, terribly boring. <laughs> Soup, uh, vinegar, tomato sauce. Hey, listen, you haven't seen any fresh vegetable oysters around anywhere, have you? No. Well, it's just as well I couldn't afford them anyway. Look, why don't you try lettuce? That's cheap. Rabbits do all right with it. <laughs> Powdered bark. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Uh, look, I know... I, I know the answer before I ask the question, but you wouldn't by any chance happen to have some powdered bark of the Yohombi tree? A bird's eye down to it. We haven't got it. <laughs> What's she like? Oh, Angie. Is that her name? Yeah. Oh, Angie, she's got a figure like... A uh, kind of pork sausage is It's quite similar. Oh, and uh, that nice red piece of meat. Look, it's not really that colour, you know. It's the red light they've got underneath there. Now, you take it outside. You'll soon see the difference. Well, I want it to eat, not to match my handbag. <laughs> no powdered rhinoceros horn, I suppose. Oh, yes, we got that. Have you? It's over there under aphrodisiacs. <laughs> it's tuppence off it this week. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Any luck? No. Actually, no. I thought it's a bit mean, really, trying to get her going, you know, and all that sexy food. So I've decided on the traditional Englishman. Which is? I'm going to get her pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, hello, Chrissy. Uh, what are you having? Oh, a pint, please. Uh, lager, please. All right. Uh, you better come with me. I ain't got no money. <laughs> hey, did you get my slimming bread? Yeah. Doesn't seem to be doing you much good. Oh, perhaps I'm not eating enough of it. Right. Uh, a pint and a lager, Jim, please. And uh, one for myself while I'm at it. And another pint, please. What's Joe drinking? A uh, slimline gin. And a slimline gin, gin. And uh, a gin, Jim. Right. Here, do you want to give me a hand tonight? I'm getting the walls ready for papering. No, I'm sorry, I've got a girl coming around tonight. Oh, yeah. We'll both be stripping off then, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone I know? Angie. Angie? Biology? <laughs> you won't get far there, mate. She gave me the big no already. Listen, where the pupil fails, the master may succeed. She's convent educated. Don't spread it around. Know what I mean? The dead loss. Listen, she may be cold on the outside, but inside there's this fierce heat glowing. You're talking about her as if she's a compost heap. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not just her, it's women generally. No, Joan of Arc didn't spread it about. 
Florence Nightingale didn't spread it about. What does that make them? Dead, so let that be a warning to you. <laughs> Not my opinion. We'd be better off without men. Oh, well, pay for these, will you? She wants to have it both ways. Does she? <laughs> Here, I've got them, Mildred. The holiday snacks, and every one of them's turned out. Oh, God. Here. <laughs> I sometimes think it's the best part of the holiday, looking at the photos after. But it's got to be the best part of that holiday. I mean, it tittled down for ten days, <laughs> and you still managed to get sunstroke. <laughs> well, look on the bright side, Mildred. I mean, you were laid up with Spanish tummy. You couldn't go out anyway. Oh. Hey, hey, look, there we are. That's the one I took from the plane over Benidorm. It's just a lot of clouds, George. Yeah, I know, but underneath them is Benidorm. <laughs> well, hang on. There's that customs officer. <laughs> Look at his face. Yes, well, I mean, you shouldn't have tried your Spanish out on him. No, they're very touchy about their mothers, the Spanish. Yeah, that's the jail. No, George, that's our hotel. <laughs> very similar, I grant you. What do you expect for 27 quid, including the flight and with the meals thrown in? Thrown in is right. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Tripp. Oh, bring him in. Come in, son. I've got my holiday snack. They're even more boring than they were last year when you forgot to take the lens cap off. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I just came to borrow my omelette pan back, as it were. Oh, I haven't still got it, have I? Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, love. It's in the kitchen. I won't be a second. Uh, uh, come on, son. Sit down. <laughs> hey, look. They're the dustbins under the hotel balcony. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, oh, the focus in there was spot on. You can see every fly. <laughs> What's that uh, fuzzy bit in the foreground there? Oh, that's Mildred. <laughs> there you are. That's the, that's the beach. Oh, no, that's very effective, isn't it? You know, mm. the way the setting sun seems to glance off the oil slick. That's yeah. Really nice. <laughs> that's the uh, local abattoir. What do you think of that? A bit chocolate boxes. <laughs> uh, she's not going to be very long, is she? Hey? What? Oh, no, no. Hey, look, hey. There's a flamingo dancer in the nightclub. Yeah. I had a flash there. <laughs> well, here you are, Mr. Tripp. Your reprieve has come through. Oh, good. Uh, I mean, you know, not that the snapshots weren't absolutely, uh, you know, fascinating. Yeah, I've got another seven rolls here. Uh, well, actually, I have got somebody coming up. Hey, you haven't seen the best one yet. That's Mildred changing out of her costume. Oh. <laughs> you didn't know I took that, did you? <laughs> George! You're like a spider in the middle of your web waiting to trap her. Jealousy is a terrible thing to see in a woman, Christy. I'm not jealous. I see you are, eh? Just a fraction, eh? Just a itsy beeny bit, eh? <laughs> Go on, admit it, just a... Teeny, weeny, itsy bitsy little bit. Come on. Come on, admit it. Give it something to yourself. Go and stuff your peppers. <laughs> I have already stuffed my peppers with hot, spicy meat to give her a thirst. <laughs> Typical. How long have you known this poor girl? Oh, well, you know, I've taken her out a couple of times to the disco, cinema, and tonight with a bit of luck, bingo. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Honestly, that's all he ever thinks about sex. Well, you were only in there for two minutes. Not with me. Oh, I thought you were annoyed about something. Coming upstairs to help Larry? No, I might as well. I'm getting booted out of here. You're not being booted out of here. Ouch! Oh, look what you've done now. It's just simply that it is my turn tonight to have the flat to myself. Now, if you'd like to stay, that is fine. Then I shall boot you out. Come on. Yeah, well, I think I'll put a smock on first. Larry paints like a lawn sprinkler. <laughs> oh, and Joe, a word of warning. Watch Larry, he's like a spider in the middle of his web, waiting. Oh, I'm only going up there to hold his ladder. That's how it always starts. You're not careful, you'll frighten Miss Muffet away. <laughs> Just scene setting. 
Now, uh, oh, come on, Chrissy. Now, scram. Come on. Listen, Robin. Yeah? Have you got any genuine feelings for this Angie? Well, yes, of course. Apart from lust. Oh, I see. You're talking about love and respect and uh, sharing and, and caring for her. Yeah. Now, I've got none of that, just lust. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you you're the cleaning woman. No, I'm not. Well, look, just say hello, goodbye, and then get up. Oh. Hello, Angie. <laughs> Come in. Can I take your coat? Oh, uh, this is, uh... Chrissy! Yes? Angela! <coughs> how long have you been in London? About three months. What you, how, why didn't you phone? Didn't know where you lived. Oh, we're here. We're sure. Uh, you, you two know each other? <gasps> yeah, we were at school together. Oh, oh isn't that great? <laughs> uh, <coughs> she's just going. Years? No, don't rush off. We're only going to eat and play records and chat, aren't we? Uh, well, yes. Do you know who I bumped into the other day? No, Gillian. Not Gillian with the bad teeth and the flat chest. She's had them <laughs> capped. Oh, I didn't know they could do that. <laughs> they file them to a point and then fit new ones on. <laughs> Chrissy, I don't want to keep... If you have oh, to, you know... Uh, yeah, not... well, um, I'd better go. robbie has got plans, dinner and so forth. Oh, couldn't you stretch it so that Chrissy could have some? Five minutes and he put his arm round me. That's Larry. Then he put his other arm round me. Typical. And he hoisted me up the ladder to whitewash his blasted ceiling. <laughs> well, I meant to come up, but Angela and I had lots to talk about. Old times, people we knew. <laughs> Didn't Robin mind? Did Robin mind? <laughs> Robin sat there for three solid hours, listening to hockey, netball, Gillian the school swat, Miss Whitaker, the popular games mistress. Would you like to know about Miss Whitaker? Because Robin knows her life story. And then Robin eventually went to bed and left them to it. No, he didn't mind. I think he did. No, she wanted me to stay. We were friends. I mean, I used to look after her a bit when we were at school. But Chrissy, she's not still in blue woolly bloomers. She wouldn't have been in any bloomers if I'd left her alone with him. <laughs> so you stayed here and played Gooseberry in the manger? Oh, then there was Aileen, the fourth form tomboy. He used to flick ink pellets, and Chrissy got blamed for it, didn't you, Chrissy? And you know they took away her job as milk monitor, didn't they, Chrissy? It really got tough, <laughs> Well, I didn't flick the ink pellet. Oh, I'm staying out of this one. The thing is, she's... Well, she's serious about him. She told me so. And he isn't serious at all. He looked pretty serious just now. Morning, all. Oh, God. Can I borrow a plate? Oh. Can I borrow some egg and bacon to put on it? <laughs> and, uh, and a knife and fork. Take the cooker. No, I've got one of my own, and it's not connected. <laughs> Here. There's little bits of coal in this. They're mushrooms. Oh, sorry, look like coal. <laughs> it smells like coal. We are terrorists, aren't we? Don't You coming down to the pub later? Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. Best session of the week, Sunday lunchtime. A few jars, a few giggles. Happy, smiling faces. <laughs> right. I'll get these in. I don't blame you for being mad. You fouled up his evening. She didn't know what she was letting herself in for. You're not her mother. I was her milk monitor. I carry some responsibility. Not for life. Well, the same again, Jim, please. Well, you know, one of my favourites... One... Oh, hello, son. Here, one of my favourites. Look, I'm sorry I find holiday snaps very boring. Oh, yes, yeah, so do I. Other people's. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> one of my favourites, a Spanish lamppost. I mean, there they were, and there were you, hanging about like a spare cake at a wedding. <laughs> you think I was wrong, just say so. You were wrong. Well, I want your opinion. I'll ask for it. <laughs> what do you think? Do you want an honest answer? No, I want you to agree with me. Well, I don't agree with him. I think you're wrong and I think you ought to apologise. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 
I'm sorry. Sorry, are you talking to me? Oh, don't be so awkward. I said I was sorry, and it's very difficult to say you're sorry when you're not. <laughs> Apologies accepted. You stop sulking. Eventually. Ah, oh, come on, mate. There'd be other evenings. You're taking her out tonight. To the cinema. You can't do a lot in the cinema, can you? Yeah, that's true. You're liable to end up with your foot in somebody's strawberry ripple. <laughs> Will there be other evenings when you have the flat to yourself? Yes, tonight. Yep. The two of you can go out tonight. Where to? Hello, everyone. Do you mind if I join you? Uh, Mr. Roper. Mr. Roper, we were just saying how fantastic it would be if we all came down and had a look at your holiday snaps. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, certainly. <laughs> Unfortunately, I won't be able to come there myself, you know, because I've got somebody coming round. No, no, neither can I. I'm, uh, I'm decorating. Oh, neither can I, because I'm going to help him, aren't I? Um, oh, so I... it's just you, then? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You dropped me right in it. <laughs> yes, I did, didn't I? <laughs> come on, but you're making somebody happy. No. Oh. Yes, now come on, you are. I mean, you're making Mr. Roper happy, and you're giving me a couple of giggles just the thought of it. <laughs> so come on. What do you think of my little web, huh? Robin. Yeah? Oh, nothing. Now, come on, what is it? Well, look, Angela hasn't been around very much. She's liable to take this sort of thing more seriously than you do. She's had a lot to do with horses. <laughs> horses? And nuns. <laughs> and girls who've had a lot to do with horses don't often know a lot about men and life. Well, if you think it will make her feel easier, I could wear a nose bag. <laughs> you haven't understood a thing I'm saying. Oh, are you two having another argument? No, just the same old one. Now, come on, off you go before she arrives. Look, it won't do any harm just to say hello. Yes, it will, because you'll start talking about Miss Whitaker and netball and horses and nuns. Now, come on, off you go. Go on, out. Oh, and don't come back before midnight. Fancy swapping? Not lightly. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Chrissy. Oh, hi. Is Robin ready? What for? We're going to the cinema. No, you're not. Listen, Angela. If you know what you're doing, fair enough. But if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Oh. <laughs> Look, Robin's only interested no, in... No, a hello. Uh, come in, come in. Hello, oh. evening. Here, I've, uh... I've just dug out some from Cornwall the year before last. <laughs> Who was that? Just a fly. Welcome to my parlour. Uh, can I take your coat? We're not going to the cinema, then? Well, no. I mean, it's only Curse of the Zombies, and it'll be on TV in a five years' time, so what's the hurry? <laughs> Sit down. <clears throat> now, tell me, uh, what do you drink besides milk? Uh, Scott? Yes, please. With lots of soda. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Tell me, uh, have you been doing much riding lately? A bit. Do you ride? Well, you know, on and off. <laughs> no ideas, but I can't keep my feet in the stirrup cups. <laughs> well, cheers. Oh, George, for heaven's sake, let's have an interval. I'm even gone with the wind at an interval. <laughs> I've just dug out the wedding photos. <laughs> Can't you find something happier to show her, you know, a happy occasion? Well, that was a happy occasion. For better or for worse, richer or poorer, in sickness or in health. Mm, I lost a toss on every one. <laughs> uh, there you are. There's Mildred. There's Mildred. <laughs> oh, you were married in black. No, dear, no, no, navy blue. C&A, sale, eight pounds ten. It's a very nice outfit. Oh, it's in the wardrobe if you want to see it. It's still my best. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. That's uh, cutting the cake. I was in uniform then, of course. Yeah. How long were you a bus conductor? <laughs> About a fortnight. Yeah. That's outside the church. Oh, George, come on. Now, she's had enough. I've had enough. Put them away. Well, I thought she might be interested. Sure, oh, isn't it marvellous, eh? Mm. Mm. There's no stopping him, you know, once anything. he gets going. Oh, Who? Somewhere else. Oh, oh him, yeah. yeah. I mean, he'll keep it up till he's blue in the face. Yeah. yeah. Really. Never take no for an answer. Look, some people are interested in photography. It's a pity that young fella couldn't come down and his lady friend. They might have appreciated these. Another sherry, dear? You're right. Hey? Well, they are very good. No, I think you've had enough. <laughs> well, they, they, they don't know what they're missing upstairs. Yeah. Hey, perhaps you could go up and ask them. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't like to intrude. But there's nothing to stop you popping up there. Yeah. I mean, look at it this way, Angie. What's the most important thing in biology? The Sitting Guilds exam. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that too. Uh, <clears throat> no, I didn't quite mean that. Let me put it another way. Um, we've explored each other's minds. Yes. Well, I mean, don't you think it's time we, we moved on? Are you really serious? Oh, yes, I'm serious. All right, then. It's great. <laughs> you won't expect too much. It's my first time. No, no, don't worry. <laughs> uh, you are kidding. No. What, you mean I'd be the, uh, the... Yes. I know it's old-fashioned, but I've been saving myself for someone who's really serious about me. Well, Angie, yes, I am a bit serious, uh, a bit. Uh... Well, some men just think of women as sex objects. Y yes, they do. And Sister Therese always said it was wrong to, you know, unless you were married. Oh, um... Nowadays, I think it's perfectly all right even before we're married. Now, look, Angie... <coughs> Angie, there, there, there are a lot of men um, in this world that you shouldn't trust, you know? I mean, they're, they're, they're like, a, like, they're like a, a spider in the mid... No, don't undo anything else! <laughs> Your first time too. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the first time that I've, um, for the first time, you see. And uh, you see, oh my God! You see, I, you see, I think men and women should get to sort of know each other first, you see, before they get married. We well, explored each other's minds. Ugh. No, I didn't mean that, you see. You see, I'm, I'm not ready. <laughs> We've got it all evening. No, Angie, for marriage. <laughs> You see, I mean, you don't know a lot, do you? I mean, about men and, and life and... Uh... Oh, uh, hello. Uh, uh, young uh, Chrissy said that you might be interested in looking through me. Stop shots! Uh, Great! <laughs> Come in, sit down there. Now, this is Mr Roper. This is Angie. Now, show them that one of the abattoir and the Spanish lamppost. I mean, oh, that you must show her that one. And what's that one of the dustbin? That's an absolute gem. Where is it? Where is it?